I'm going to show you how you can count the number of characters in each cell of an Excel worksheet. I did this for uh, something I was working on this week, and I think it's kind of a little quick little piece of code that you can uh, use probably for a few different, uh, different applications. Now, um, I have got the names that I have here from the random name generator. So if your name happens to appear here, I think you need to go buy a lottery ticket because you're, the odds are, odds are on your favor. Anyways, so let me show you how this works. We were just trying to, I was just trying to figure out the length of the, uh, the average name so I could fig figure out the length of uh, uh, a field for a character, the length of characters for a form that I was working on. So let's run this. So I'm going to the developer tab and I'm going to my macros and I'm going to count number and I'm going to run. Now it goes through each each cell that has um, this has something in it and it tells you how many characters are in each cell. Now um, I have made it so that it doesn't it doesn't tell me the zeros because I want it to be greater than two so that if there was um, just an initial in there or something else that it wouldn't um, it wouldn't bring it up. Okay, so I will show you the code. So I call it uh, sub count numbers R and C as long, and those are my rows and column count as long, um, names as a variant, so that's going to change every time, and R equals 3 and columns equals 2. And I, I'm just, I've just selected an area of my sheet. You could do as much as you want. So I'm going from rows 3 to 22, and I'm going from columns 2 to 11. And I'm going two, four statements. So I go the, go the row, I go within each row, then I go on each of the columns from 2 to 11, and then I go to the next row. So I go sheet 1, cells R, C, select. And then names equals active cell, so that whatever we've selected is the names. And do while length of names is greater than two. So I'm trying to eliminate the zeros. And maybe if there's like a, one extra character in there for some reason. And then I just, uh, I don't want to see that. And then I say message box, tell me what the length is. And then I'm trying to get out of this loop. I go, go to move on. And then I put my move on. Um, after the loop and so it goes to next row next row and next column so I will of course include this in the description of my video please subscribe